there are more than 10 million people living on this earth who are born deaf. This is about three times the population of Lithuania. Most of them have no mother tongue at all. Kokia tavo gintoi kalba, az én anyanyelvem magyar. My mother tongue is Hungarian. And what is my colleague's mother tongue? Let's see. She says her mother tongue is American Sign Language, or ESL for short. Can you imagine somebody having no mother tongue? According to deaf education specialist, mother tongue is the language we learn from our parents. This is also called as native language. The first language is the language we learn within a critical period of early childhood. This period closes around the age of three. Most of the time, our mother tongue is our first language. When a deaf child born in a hearing family, he or she will have no mother tongue. If deaf children don't learn signing within the first three years, they will have no first language either. Now, what is sign language? Sign language is based on several manual components, like hand shapes, movement, orientation and location from body, facial gestures, and spacing. Sign language puts words together, just like any other languages. It has grammar, although its rules are different from spoken languages. It's so real, you can even take sign language exams. Sign language just as natural, just any other spoken language. This is why there are more than 300 different types of sign language all around the world. The lady in the video was signing American Sign Language. Let's watch our Hungarian colleague signing the same meaning. Please pay attention to the differences between the American and the Hungarian Sign Language. Sign language just as valid as any other spoken languages. If you are able to express yourself in any sign language, in addition to your first language, you are bilingual with all the benefits of being so. It enriches your creative thinking, enhances your problem solving, increases your cognitive flexibility, and improves your academic achievement. Both deaf and hearing people ought to learn the local sign language. It could be just as easy for a hearing person to sign as it is to learn English as a second language, which means that hearing people could communicate deaf people just as easy as they do with foreigners. They could interact about the same topics, same interest, share the same emotions. In America, when a deaf person gets a phone call, they will be connected with an interpreter through video communication. Again, if a deaf child goes to school with hearing students, they will be provided an interpreter throughout the day. According to data resources, only one interpreter, interpreter for more than 30 sign language users all around in America. So there is a shortage of interpreters even in the USA. Therefore, future can be built on real-life interpreters alone. One of my friends visited a school in Nabda, a small village in India. She met this little guy, Drew. He is on the right side of the photo. He is nine years old and walks five kilometers to school every morning. He was born deaf. He was more than three years old when he was diagnosed as being deaf. His younger brother, the only one at school who understands his signs and provides him communication between his schoolmates, teachers, and him. Drew has no chance of being educated in sign language 
as there are no such facilities within hundreds of kilometers of his town. His mother is desperate. She's ready to sacrifice anything for her son, but there is no help, because the isolated place, the lack of money, and lack of technology. For a deaf child born in a hearing family, it takes about two to three years to get a precise diagnosis. However, by that time, it's far too late for parents to learn signing. That being said, there is a movement called baby signing. When parents are committed and want to be prepared, they learn and teach some signs before the infants can even talk, no matter the infant can hear or not, because at least two out of 1,000 babies are born with a detectable level of hearing loss. So it's better to be prepared to receive such a child into the family. Moreover, 90% of deaf children are born to hearing parents. Studies show that even hearing infants whose signs speak earlier, have a larger vocabulary, get better grades in school, and have a higher IQ. They also often have better communication with their parents because the early stage of communication. In fact, learning sign language could benefit everyone. Teachers, parents, students, people who are ready to change the world. Clearly, we have nothing to lose and so much to gain if we all learn signing. There are places where sign language translation needs to be available anytime. Places like receptions, administration desk, airport. Me and my colleagues in Hungary are working on a unique translation system for deaf and hearing people to meet their needs and reach their goals. This is not a simple translation system. It's a two-way communication. It provides immediate feedback to the users. Furthermore, it's technology-based, so it can be turned into an exciting game for children and parents alike who want to learn sign language. The system consists of a set of simple devices and the software. It will be available to anybody without internet access. Most importantly, for hearing parents and teachers who are blessed with a deaf child, because they are the only one who can teach sign language as first language to their children. Our vision at the company is a little more advanced than the current technology. We need a set of four cameras, and the signer has to wear a pair of lensy gloves like this. The system recognizes the signs, divide them into words, and when the signer put their hands by their side, the grammatically correct sentences will appear on the screen. Reverse communication will be available through an avatar, which can translate spoken language into signs. Let's watch how this is work. Currently, we are in the development stage of this technology. It will be available at post office, administrations, receptions, airports. In the future, we plan to create a more portable version of this device to reach places where size matters. I believe this technology is able to open doors for people 
who want to use sign language. Doors that have been closed until now. Thank you.